Hi everyone, you may have found it difficult to find inspiration for your project and uh, you don't really know how to organize it. Uh, in this video, I'm going to explain how I do it for all my projects. First of all, we're going to need some references. For that, we have multiple websites. I personally use ArtStation in the first place. It's full of wonderful creations from drawings to uh, 3D scenes. And if I can't find what I'm looking for, I go to Pinterest. The good thing about Pinterest is that it shows you a similar content at the bottom of the image that you are watching. Since I'm a lot into sci-fi, uh, one source of inspiration I really like is movies. Uh, the good thing about movies is that you see the environment around the scene and it's not just uh, one single image. Watching tutorials or even time lapses on YouTube can give you ideas on how to make things and even if it's not for the software or the tool that you are using. All right, finding cool inspiration is nice, but how can I keep it for later? Uh, ArtStation and Pinterest have their own collection feature, but then you have your saved images on two different websites. I personally prefer to use Allusion. Allusion is free and it allows you to create tags to put on your images and you can then search by tags. The only downside to it is that it is stored on your local machine, meaning that you will have to download all the references and put them into a folder on your computer. Once I'm starting a new project, I always start by looking into my allusion. And once I found a few references I like, I use Pure Ref. Uh, Pure Ref is also a free tool where you can just copy paste images and have all your references for a specific project in one place. So it uh, displays everything in one page. Uh, you can use Allusion for this, but then you will need to create a specific tag for this project and assign it to all the images you need. Uh, so I found that Pureref is a bit more useful to display all at once for one specific project. Now you know my entire workflow, uh, it's time for you to explore. And if you want to learn the Fluent add-on for Blender, I really recommend you to watch this video next and see you on the next one.